I know it's not easy All this keeping on That song, as most of the other songs, are very no mellow laid back. I call the record like a hangover record, something you put on on a Sunday when you're hungover. So baby, hang on Open up your um, that song is just basically about being away, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a, you could say a love song or a, you know, breaking up type of, type of song. So it's a matter of, it's sort of about being in the different places all the time and just sort of making sure that things are, you know, still thought-wise, you're on the same page with somebody. I just, you know, been lucky to throw my music out there and have it stick in, in certain places, so doing this video in Berlin is very cool. Hold me close. I always try and put myself in the situation, uh, which is how I hooked up and met um, Burkhardt and, and everybody else at United One. One night at Rickenbacker's, with, uh, I was uh, coming out to do a tour with Michael Friedman, and I played one song, and then, you know, here we are, records out, we're shooting videos, and it's just, that's the way things happen, and that's why I put myself in certain situations, because um, if you don't go there, it won't happen, is sort of my theory on it. She's as wise as a bulletproof vest, and she shines. Uh, I guess like above it all would have been the first song that I wrote for this record. Um, one of those songs that came about very quickly. Uh, I guess it's a song just about of about um, you know I've, I've been going through a lot of things after putting out and touring parts for sale and thinking about what I want to do next. Ooh, don't let it break down. Ooh, don't let it break down. Keep it on the ground. Always stay above it all. And I just moved to New York also. Um, and so there was a lot of changes going around for me and uh, that's sort of a song about um, just, you know, keeping positive and staying on top of everything. Um, it's sort of my version. Other people have read into it differently, which is fine too. Everybody can make their own, uh, paint their own little picture out of that song. Feels like a mess But I lie The springtime, Phoenix in the meantime. Um, you know, I was doing a lot of solo shows, and a lot of my friends and people I'd meet were were surprised at the difference uh, between the, the whole band record and me playing solo. And they said they wanted to hear, you know, we want to hear a CD of just you, you know, like this, all laid back and mellow. And I was like, yeah, I kind of, I'm into that. I want to make a record like that. But the boys chased all the girls. Down on the avenue And it's a real hot scorch You couldn't turn the heat up If we wanted to Yeah, the boys chase all the girls Down on the avenue And it's a real hot scorch You couldn't turn the heat up If we wanted to Wanted to that song wasn't necessarily written after moving there. It was just sort of written about a, this strange, you know, year in my life before I'd moved there and then just shortly after I'd moved there. 
a lot of changes. I was in, you know, living in Vancouver and I, I was traveling a lot and felt I needed to get out of Vancouver and uh, explore, you know, as you say, different waters. And moving to New York uh, is definitely, um, you know, swimming upstream for a while, you know, until you sort of figure out um, or until somebody gives you that life jacket, so. <laughs> album we made basically it was me and Alan also making this record he came out to New York and brought a bunch of gear with him we set the, rec the studio up in, a, in an apartment on the beach and uh, the two of us worked away on it got a couple of people to come in and play but it was basically me and him um, it was sort of the right you know collection of songs for the right particular point in time whether it will stay this mellow or not I don't know, I mean, I'm still into, um, you know, I'm still itching to make a full-on bluegrass record. Um, that's definitely in, in my back pocket, and I'm still, you know, I still get excited about cranking up the Marshall and playing some good old rock and roll, so that's going to probably happen too. Um, I don't know, tough to say. I like to jump around, I get bored easily. She's forbidden. Response has been great out here. I think this new record, Hotel Arantz, uh will be it'll probably a bit more European friendly than the last one. And you know, we might create a new genre called Europeana. <laughs> you know, doesn't feel foreign anymore. <laughs> 